Hello everyone, Phoenix Game here, and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. And today's video is going to be on a working eye scanner. If you don't like command blocks and you only like doing redstone, I'll have a link to one of my redstone eye scanners in the description below. I've built two of them in the past and they work absolutely fine still. However, today's going to be on a cool command block one that works pretty good. I actually like this thing a lot. Uh, I could have probably made it a lot smaller, but I'm still pretty new to Minecraft uh, command blocks. So let's go ahead and get this thing working. So all we have to do is walk up to our observer block here we will actually get a message that says welcome back fedex 2692 walk on through and it will close up right behind us and then when we're ready to leave just click this button it'll say goodbye with a frowny face no and then it will close up right behind us now the reason why i added these little texts because one i thought it'd be fun and i haven't really gotten to use any of the text with the command block so it's kind of cool seeing that work and i also made it so if you don't go on to it the person that does go on to it will get a nice little message that tells them get off the block or they'll die so let me go ahead and switch that up real quick and don't worry it's not going to look like this when we finish it up like i said i'm still pretty new to command blocks so this is all you know <laughs> i know it looks like a mess so let me quickly go ahead and switch this over to creative so i can go inside my command block and it's testing for me as a player so i'm going to quickly just change the name to fedex 2692 y so now it's going to search for that player and not me so that now i'm going to get the nice little message that tells me to, if i don't get off the block i am going to die so let's go ahead and leave the area now ready when i stand on this it's going to say warning get off the block or i'm going to die so boop and see i'm not fedex 2692y so move off the block or i'll die five four three two one and goodbye <laughs> So yes, if someone does go onto this and they are not you and they do not heed the warning sign, move off block or will die, then yes, they will die. But if they do heed the warning symbol and just get off, boop, as you can see, I will not die. <laughs> so as long as they get off the block, they won't die. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. So like I said, guys, in the beginning, it's not going to look this big. It might actually look a little bit bigger because right here is just the countdown. You know, it just says 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's why there's all these command blocks here. And I kind of messed up with the timing. So it looks really weird over here. Over here, this is just to open up the door. If it's you, it will open up the door. And then if it isn't you, it won't lock this thus killing the player and that's what kills the player right there but this will lock it just in case it is you so the first thing we're going to do is start off by giving ourselves a command block by pressing right on our d-pad and then we're just going to type in forward slash give a lot of people said you could put at self to to give a uh command block so i'm gonna try that i usually just put my username but i'm gonna try at s for self command underscore block and yep that does work as well or you can use your username that's what i've been usually doing this entire time so now what we're going to do is figure out where we want our little sensor door to go i like to do a three by three area with glass panes you could change it up to however you like if you understand how the coordinates and everything work then you should be set in stone but i'm going to go ahead and you know what? let me just fly over here real quick and grab myself a few things so i just don't have to grab myself so i'm going to grab that i'm going to grab that uh i'm going to kill myself apparently now <laughs> Let me grab all this goody stuff so I don't have to grab it later on. There we go. And, you know, let me grab some redstone just in case. Boop, there we go. So, to get things started off with this, like I said, all we have to do is just find the area where we actually want to build our door. I'm going to be going with a nice 3x3 three three area. So, I'm just going to make a doorway that fits a 3x3 three three area. So, I'm going to go up 3 right here. Skip over 3 and go up 3. And this is where my door is going to be going for it. Let me just fill in this as well. There we go. That's where my door is going to be going. And then right here is where, you know what, actually, I'm going to make the eye scanner right next to it this time instead of being away from it. Let's put it right next to it. So this is where I want my eye scanner to go. So I'm just going to switch this block over with an observer block. The reason why I use an observer block is that kind of looks like an eye scanner. You know, a little, little tiny red dot. You put your eye up to it and it scans your retina to let you into the door. So now what we're going to have to do is find the coordinates like all other tutorials that i've done on command blocks we're going to go into settings go over to our game go down and then turn on our show coordinates so this will make things a thousand times easier for us so to get started on this thing, we're going to place in three glass panes here and three glass panes right there and all we have to do is just find the coordinates for this middle area right here so mine's going to be the first coordinate now like i say in all my other command block get out a pen and paper open up notepad on your computer we're going to have to write down some coordinates so my first coordinate is going to be negative one six eight space four space two three seven that's going to be my first coordinate now i'm gonna have to find the top one right here that third block so we're just gonna place two blocks right below ourselves one two and i'm gonna have to write down that one as well as you can see it's only two numbers higher 
than the other one. So just negative one, six, eight, six, two, three, seven. And that's going to be our coordinates pretty much for the entire thing. That's all we really need. And then we can go ahead and fill in the rest with our glass panes now that we have our two coordinates. So now that we have our two door coordinates, there's only one more coordinate we're going to need, and that's the one right in front of our observer block for our eye scanner. So we're going to need the block right in front of this observer block. Make sure you don't write it next to the other ones. Keep it away from the other ones because you don't want to get them all mixed up. So negative one, seven, zero, four, two, three, six. Remember, yours are going to be different, but those are the only three you're going to need for this entire build, the two door ones, and then the one right in front of our eye scanner. Now we're going to have to choose where we're going to put down our command blocks. I highly recommend you know digging down too and then putting it right underneath the door. You can put it wherever you want as long as it's close enough to the door so it won't mess anything up. I'm just going to put mine right next to the door and just dig down a nice little two area right around here because it's all going to be one high. It's the whole thing is one high so you don't have to worry about it taking up too much room. So just make sure you keep it though in the area of the door so nothing gets messed up. All right, guys, so once you've dug out a pretty good hole, or if you're building this right on top, it's completely up to you. We're going to start off by placing a command block in. Make sure the arrow, though, is facing towards whichever way we're going to be placing our next command block. We're going to be using these arrows this time to make certain things work. So next up, what we're going to do is go inside of this command block right here. We're going to change it over to a repeat block. And then we're also going to change the redstone section to always active. Next up, go back up to your command input. And now inside your command input, you're going to write test for space and then at P for at players. So it's going to test for the nearest player in a certain spot. So after the at player, we're going to go ahead and put in a bracket. And then we're going to put in our X, Y, and Z that we wrote down for our eye scanner itself, the block in front of the observer block. So mine was X equals negative 170 comma y equals four comma and then last but not least z equals 236 then we're going to do put one more comma and then we're going to put down our radius this just detects the blocks around it we only want our radius to be one though so r equals one is going to be our radius and then add another bracket so it's going to test for a player on that exact coordinate at all times so right now it's see no targets are matched here however if i go right here in front of the block where our eye scanner is right here and then go inside of it as you can see it says found fedex 2692 and then if i go away from it it says no targets match selector right in front of it found fedex 2692 and that's all that's going to do next up we're going to go right in front of our repeat block right here place another command block facing away as you can see the hours are facing that way Go inside of it and we're going to change this one to a chain block so this chain block will only activate when this repeat block activates so we're next up we're going to go inside of here go into the command input and then we're going to type in test for and then type in your username so fedex 2692 so it will only activate when i'm in that area because of this block right here so now if we put a redstone comparator coming out of it and then we stand right here you'll see that the redstone comparator will come on oops i almost forgot we're going to change this also to always active and we're also going to change the condition to conditional and that will make it work see there we go so now when i get off this area goes off goes on goes off goes on so make sure it's on chain conditional always active and test for fedex 2692 so now if you see if i even change one thing on here if i change any number on here or anything so fedex 26926 as you can see, it won't activate because that's not my username. So it will only activate for you, the player. And that's how this whole eye scanner works only for you. Next up, place a block right in front of that redstone comparator with a repeater coming out of the right hand side of it. Now, if you don't want to kill the player, if you don't want to kill anyone when they go on this thing, then you don't need to do this whole part right here. That's going to be uh, up after I make the entire door work. I'll do the kill command after we get the door working itself now if you don't want a text to pop up when you activate this thing then do not do this next part uh just wait till i'm done with it but i'm going to be adding in a text that just says welcome back fedex when i step onto that part so right here after this block with the repeater right here we're just going to place in another command block go inside of it so like i said if you do not want this if you don't want a text popping up when you enter it then you don't have to do this but i want to do it so i'm going to do it <laughs> so i'm going to type in title so t-i-t-l-e 
space, then put in your username so it only pops up for you. You don't want it popping up for anyone else. You only want it popping up for you. So FedEx 2692, that'll make it so that title only pops up for me. Space, sp type in title again, T-I-T-L-E. And then we're gonna type in welcome back. I'm gonna do mine all in caps. You don't have to. Welcome back, you can type whatever you want. So we're gonna put in welcome back, like that. And then right next to it off the right hand side we're going to go inside another command block and then we're going to type in title username again so it only pops up for me and then we're going to type in a subtitle that will put another title right underneath the main title that we have and then i'm going to put in my own username so welcome back fedex 2692 so fedex 2692 so it's kind of like i have a robot talking to me so there we go welcome back the subtitle is going to be FedEx 2692. So now when I step onto here, boop, it'll say, welcome back. Oh, why did my subtitle not go off? There we go. I don't know why my subtitle did not go off, but there we go. Welcome back, FedEx 2692. Welcome back, FedEx 2692. Perfect. Also set this repeater to four ticks delay. Now, if you didn't write out the title, all you have to do is just place another repeater coming out of that repeater and set it to four ticks delay. However, since I have the title, I'm going to place my repeater coming out of that command block on four ticks delay. And then we're going to go into one more command block right here. And then inside of this command block, we're going to take our two coordinates we got for our door and we're going to plug it into this one. So go inside this command block. And then right here at the beginning, we're going to type in fill and then write down the two coordinates for your door. So mine was negative one, six, eight, four two three seven space and then my second coordinate for my door was negative one six eight six instead of four and then two three seven space and then we're going to type in air at the end and that will fill in the door with air so then our door actually opens up so when i go right here it'll say welcome back fedex 2692 and my door will open up now all we have to do is just set it so our door closes when we walk in over this block right here. So next up, we're going to create another command to close our door when we enter it. So what I'm going to do is just place a command block right here. Don't worry, they won't interfere with each other. Go inside of it, set it to a repeat command block, and then also set it to always active. Make sure it's on always active. Then in the command input, we're just going to type in the same command that we did for the exact one right next to it. So type in test four. And then at player, so at nearest player, and then we're going to put bracket and we're going to be using our coordinate for the bottom most bottom part of our door. So my bottom part of my door is going to be X equals negative one, six, eight. And then it's going to be comma Y equals four. That's the bottom part of my door. If you remember, four is the bottom, six is the top. So X, Y, and then Z equals two, 37. And then we're going to put in a radius of one and then go ahead and put another bracket right down like that so test for at player x equals negative one six eight and if you remember that right there is the bottom most bottom part of my door so negative one six eight four two three seven so right now as you can see it says no targets match selector however if i go right here and go inside of it it will say found fedex two six nine two Next up, we're just going to put a, you know, what, let me go ahead and change this real quick too. So it doesn't keep uh, saying hello to me. So I'm going to quickly just change my number in here. So as you can see now, it won't say hello to me anymore. So coming out of that command block we just put in, we're going to put a comparator. Then we're going to place a repeater on four ticks delay. And then another repeater on four ticks, two ticks, one tick, whatever you want to do. I'm going to put mine on four ticks. This will just give us enough time to walk through the door and for it to close when we walk through it. And then we're going to place a command block right in front of it. Go inside that command block. And then we're going to pretty much just place in fill with glass pane. So we're going to go fill. Take our two coordinates for our door. So mine's negative 1, 6, 8, 4, 2, 3, 7. Space, negative 1, 6, 8, 6, 2, 3, 7. That's the two coordinates of my door. And then we're going to go, instead of air this time, we're going to put in glass underscore pane like that and that's going to fill it with glass panes when we walk through it now so i see the doors open right now however once we step on this block it will close it up behind us and there you guys have it so now if i come back here and i'm gonna uh, just change this back over to my actual name so it works there we go so now when i walk up to it welcome back fedex 2692 door opens walk through it and then the door closes behind us Next up, we're going to set our button right over here on the right hand side on the inner part of our door. And this is going to open the door for us to leave. 
So now right underneath this button, we're going to place a block with a piece of redstone. So when we click the button, it comes on. There we have it. Next up, we're just going to dig out this area a little bit more. We're just going to need two command blocks here. Nothing crazy. Then coming out of this block, we're going to place a repeater on one tick delay. Now, if you don't want it to have the message saying goodbye or anything like that, then you could skip this part. You don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and just put it in real quick because it's super easy to do. All we have to do is just type in title, then your username. So mine is FedEx2692 for my username. So title FedEx2692 title, and then I'm going to write goodbye like this now actually i forgot to mention if you want to set it to a bold or a different color on console pocket edition and things like that it's actually really easy to do down here on the pad all you have to do is just go over and then there's going to be this weird music looking symbol it might be different on pocket edition how the pad looks on but i play on xbox and i'm sure ps4 is the same way as well we're just going to hold a or x on that and we're going to get this weird double s symbol so we're going to pick that double s symbol right there and then we're going to put in a lowercase l and that will change it to bold see how it changed up there now it's bold now if you want to add a color to it we just have to pick that s symbol once again and then put in one two three four five six seven to change the color i'm just going to go ahead and put in s1 to change it to blue so now it's bold and blue and then i'm just going to type in goodbye all caps so good bye in all caps so now we have to use back out back out and there we go so now when i click the button it says goodbye and why did it say my subtitle what the <laughs> there we go why did my subtitle go off I, I don't know why my subtitle went off but that's how you make uh that's how you change the colors and also bold it if you would like to so now if you didn't do the title all you had to do is just place a command block right in front of your repeater but if you did the title just place your command block next to it go inside of it and then we're just going to type out fill and then put in the coordinates for our door again so mine's negative one six eight space four two three seven and then my second coordinate space negative one six eight six two three seven and then at the end just type in air and that will open up the door so now when we click goodbye boop our door opens up and then when we walk through it closes up behind us because we stepped over that block so like i said if you don't want the whole kill command or anything like that for someone who steps on it that isn't you then you're done so you know welcome back to whoever and why is the subtitle being so weird and wonky why isn't it working let's see there we go. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with the subtitle, but there we go. Now we can go ahead and walk through it. Closes up behind us. Click the button. Goodbye. And then I, I really don't understand the subtitle and why it's doing that. Uh, I don't know why my subtitle is doing that. <laughs> uh, like there's no power going to it. It needs redstone to go off. I don't know. Maybe it's just something weird with console right now. And uh, I don't know if it's the same as Pocket Edition. But if you don't, like I said, if you don't want the kill command, you're done. You don't have to do anything else. But I'm going to go ahead and put in the kill command now for people that want it. So in case someone goes on to it that isn't them, they get well killed. So basically, we're just going to be testing for players right here on this part once again, where it says, Welcome back. And my subtitle is being really stupid again. So we're going to come over two blocks from our chain block right here, place it here, go inside of it, set it to a repeat block. So repeat command block. Make sure the redstone is always active. And now we're just going to go ahead and put in our test four and put in our coordinate that's right in front of our eye scanner. So test four. And this time it's just going to be at player because it has to be everyone at player. I don't want entities. That's why I always just do at player for nearest person. You can do all players, but it's whatever. <laughs> so at player bracket and then X equals. Then make sure you put in the coordinate that's for right in front of your eye scanner. Mine's negative 170 comma y equals four comma and then x i mean z equals 236 and then we're going to go ahead and put in a radius of one so r equals one and then go ahead and put in another bracket right there at the end and that will just test for that area right there so as you can see it says no targets match selector however when i go on to it and go inside of it found fedex 2692 next up we're going to go ahead and place a redstone comparator coming out of it with a repeater coming out of that and set the repeater to two ticks delay. Now how the whole entire kill command thing works without killing the player itself is when we activate this right here, as you see, it locks the repeater right there. So it won't kill us. It will only kill people that this block does not recognize. So anyone whose name isn't FedEx 2692, it will not work for them, thus killing them. So make sure you set that to two ticks. So now we're gonna go ahead and put in some command blocks with text in it. This is gonna be like, you know, a warning, get off the block or you're gonna die in. And then we're gonna put a countdown. And then right at the end, we're gonna have the kill command. If you don't want the whole countdown, you just want the kill command right away, wait till the end or skip ahead. And then just put in your kill command right here and that will kill them automatically. 
So right off of this block, I'm going to go ahead and go inside my uh, command block. And we're just going to put in a title. My title is going to be warning for the first one. So title and then put at player. So at P title. And then we're going to make it. We're also going to make it bold and red. I want to make it bold and red. So we're just going to go over on our little text right here. And we're going to go down to this little music symbol thingy. Uh, well, this is a music symbol. <laughs> this is I don't know what this is. But we're going to put that little SS symbol. And then we're going to put in a lowercase L. That will make it bold. And then we're going to go ahead and put in another SS symbol. And this time we're going to make it four. So it turns it red. And then we're going to caps lock and put warning. Like that. So there we go. Warning. And now we're going to go ahead and switch this over to a different person. Just so we can see the warning work. So now when we stand on this, it should say warning instead. See, instead of saying that says warning because I'm not FedEx 26924. <laughs> It says warning, and then we're going to add a subtitle to this one too, even though the subtitle for some reason is messing up. I don't know why. Maybe if I make it conditional, will conditional change it so the subtitle doesn't pop up randomly? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe that. Maybe that's my problem I'm having. Let's see. Nope, it still doesn't say my subtitle now. Let's try one more time. Yeah, okay. So it, it's not that. Let's make this unconditional once again. If you did that, just make sure it's unconditional. I, I don't know why it's doing that. I really don't. Let me change my name on here again. So now we're going to put in our subtitle next to this one. So I'm going to place my command block right next to it here on the left-hand side. Go inside of it. And we're just going to type out title. Oh, sorry. Title. And then we're going to put in at player. At P. And then we're going to put in a subtitle. And for the subtitle, we can put a uh, move off block or die i guess <laughs> move off block or die that sounds that's that pretty much gets right to the point so now if i go right here it'll say warning move off block or die <laughs> All right, guys, so I quickly went ahead and just dug out the area a little bit more for our countdown timer. Hopefully, this is enough room right here. But once we have in our warning, you know, get off the block or you're going to die, we're going to go ahead and put in four repeaters on four ticks. So coming out of the block right here, make sure you're following this line right here. Place two repeaters, set them both to four ticks to light. And then we're going to place a block right in front of that repeater and then go this way and put another repeater, both set to four ticks to lay like that. Because we won't have enough time, so it says, you know, warning, move off block for a good amount of time. And then it will say, you know, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So then coming out of this repeater right here, we're going to put another command block. Go inside of it. And it's just the same thing over and over again, guys. So title, title, at player. And then we're going to put title. And then we're going to go ahead and put in 5, dot, dot, dot. That's basically all we're going to be doing for the next, you know, 5 seconds. <laughs> so if I come right here, you know, it'll say warning. Move off block or die, five. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the rest. I like putting on two repeaters, both set to four ticks delay. It just feels right. It feels like that's the best amount of time to have for these things. So then we're going to go ahead and do another command block. Go inside of it. Go over to the command input. Go ahead and put in a title at player title four dot dot dot. So now we have five four. So I'm going to check it out one more time. So, you know, warning, move off block or die five four and now we can go ahead and just do the rest and then we'll go ahead and check it out at the end so <laughs> okay go away move off block or die <laughs> so two tick so just place two repeaters coming out of it on a four ticks delay then place down a another command block go inside of it go into the command input and then we're gonna go ahead and put title at player title three dot 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 and then we're gonna go off to the left hand side and i guess yeah that wasn't big enough <laughs> The, the countdown is going to be the biggest part. If you don't care about the countdown, like I said, you don't have to do all of this. But it kind of makes it cooler. It makes it look a lot cooler, too. So then we're going to go in here. Place another command block. Go inside of it. Then just go title at player title. And then go ahead and I believe we are at two dot dot dot. Am I at two? Five, four, three, two. Yes, I'm at two. And then we're going to place in two more repeaters again. Both set to four ticks delay. There we go. Place in another command block. Go inside of it. And then go ahead and place in title at player title one dot dot dot. There we go. And now last but not least, we're going to put in goodbye for our next one. So one, two, place in another command block right here. Go inside of it. Now I'm going to make my goodbye bold and blue. So we're going to go ahead and put title at player title. Then we're going to go over to that weird squiggly S symbol. So weird squiggly S symbol right here. There we go. Put in a lowercase L after it. That will make it bold. Place another squiggly S. And then we're going to put in, I believe it's one for blue. Yes. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to type in it in all caps. So good 
by and let's go ahead and put in a little exclamation mark as well so blah. <laughs> so we're screaming at them goodbye in blue so now let's go ahead and check it out to make sure everything is working right so warning move off block or die five four three two one goodbye and that's where it's going to kill us so now we're going to place in our command that will kill the person if they decide to stand on the block for five seconds and not move it's completely their fault and they're going to die so place a, place another command block right next to the goodbye and if you didn't do the whole countdown then you're just placing you know the command block after the uh initial input of our repeat block right there so go inside your command block and then we're going to type in effect and then we're going to go ahead and place in at player bracket and we're going to go ahead and put in our x y and z that's right in front of our observer block once again so x equals negative 170 y equals 4 and then z equals 236 and then we're going to put that at a radius equals 1 and that like i said they get five seconds to get off that thing or they're going to die <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and put space instant oh you know let me go ahead and open up this so we can see the uh everything there we go so we're going to put in instant underscore damage and then we're going to space and we're going to put it on one for one second so they have one second to get off the block or they're going to die next up press space and put in 255 that's the most damage it can possibly do we want to make sure this thing just straight up murders whoever decides to go on it that isn't us so there we go instant damage every one second for 255 damage and now we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is working so i'm going to go settings i'm going to switch this over to survival real quickly and we're going to get our little countdown warning move off block or die five four three two one and blah <laughs> so there we go oh god <laughs> what did i set my spawn there by accident i might have set my spawn there by accident didn't notice but uh there you guys have it so you know if you stand on it you are going to drop and not live anymore so let's go ahead and switch it back over to creative so i'm gonna go back in my block right here and i'm gonna get rid of that y so now it will know it's me so now when i go on here it will say welcome back and my subtitle isn't working for some reason on that block but as you see nothing happened the little kill command and everything it did not go off that's because it did detect us i'll go ahead and do it one more time come up here and welcome back fedex 2692 hey look it actually said it walk through the door will close and then of course if you want to leave boom hit that goodbye fedex 2692 and bloop and my subtitle did it again. It decided to just go off on its own. <laughs> but there you guys have it. That's how you build a working eye scanner with command blocks inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to tune with my newest videos. All right, guys, let's scan the back of my head. <laughs> Peace.